Greetings and welcome to episode 7 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Russia campaign and this my friends I left it last time but before I begin this episode my friends it proper I'd like to tell you that um, from Saturday the 11th of October I'm going to be away for a week um, and this is going to mean that where I'm staying with it's with to do with work so where, where I'm staying it's the broadband isn't that good so my plan is to do this my friends is to still record my episodes that I'm in my Russia USA Great Britain Ottoman campaign for the Great War mod record them and I will save them and then when I come back I shall then upload them um, I'll be back next Friday uh, a week a week Friday so um, I'll be back next week next Friday which and then I'll then from then on I'll start uploading what I've what I've saved but what I do intend to do though is just to keep you know my some content coming to my channel because I don't want to completely drop off for a week what I will do is um, I'll do um, some nation guides so I have had a few requests for my nation guides to sort of come back but what I'll do for nation guides I will I will do the small nation guides uh, you can get for the custom campaign so um, we'll look at St. St. John's uh, Knights uh, we're looking at um, uh, Barbary States pirates things like that so I, I will do those type of things just to keep the content coming to the channel it'll it won't be as it, you know the, the the content won't be as you know, long as a normal it'll only be like 10 15 minutes for each guide um, but when I do come back the these episodes, the sort of larger episodes of my full campaigns, they will begin again. I just want to let you know that if you don't see any of these campaigns for a week or so, it's because I'm away. But you'll probably just see some nation guys going up. So I just thought I'd let you know, my friends. I'll also, you know, put a message that the subscribers can see as well. Um, and also I'll leave a, a message in the description for this video as well, which will pro probably be going up on Saturday morning just before I leave. So anyway, friends, I thought I'd let, I'd let you know what was happening, just in case you don't see anything coming on. Only nation guides, you know why. Anyway, this is how we left it last time, um, where we have Sweden here craftily sending forces down around through Sweden itself across the border, sort of doing some raiding of the mines here up in the up in the north, I'm trying to work their way around to St. Petersburg. You're trying to flank us here, St. Petersburg not going to be allowed to happen my friends not at all so we've got this blocking force here now last turn I was going to fight this battle but as you can see the auto resolve would be highly in our favor and I really want to try and advance this campaign as quickly as I can not quickly as I can but you know get to a point where the larger battles are the battles we're going to face so I am going to auto resolve this one and probably this one as well then I'm going to move my forces up to the border here and put a stop to this Swedish aggression uh, once and for all by having this basically garrison this sort of mining town that's by here so they, we're going to move up this force it's quite a formidable force here it's quite a potent force I'm committing quite a lot of resources to this but I just cannot allow the Swedish to be sort of raiding my towns all around because if I, if I just let them slip through the net all they're going to do is going to they're going to bring our economy grinding to a halt so it's the first thing to do let's sort of resolve that of course we did lose more men than I would have liked there, but still. What do we get there? Line infantry is good. Speed things up a little bit. As you can see here, he's pulled away here. So I do intend to chase him down. I cannot allow the Swedes to sort of just be loitering about here. I do believe I do have this force here as well. Let's have a look what they've got left. Wow, that's a pretty experienced unit there. And what have I got coming in next turn? I've forgotten how much I've got coming in. 6884, not bad at all. And I am trying to build up <coughs> sort of another l full stack army here. So that I might be able to strike in against the Swedish. But look how many troops they got here. That is a vast amount. They've even got this huge army here. Look at this. Absolutely a vast army here. Got some light cav, one cannon. Uh, lots of regiment of foot here so you know we are going to be facing quite a formidable force here to take Finland I mean they have literally thrown everything here in fi into Finland to try and hold it if I could break if I crack open Finland it would just pretty much break the back of Sweden in terms of this sort of um, western sort of side of the Swedish Empire here they do have Denmark Copenhagen they do have some pretty large production facilities and also a lot of trade as well so you can see Sweden 6993 there for their trade second highest on this trade route 
huge amount absolutely huge um, so they've got a lot of money coming in so we just have to make sure we're on on, our, on the ball there with them and also we finally took Istanbul as well here look at that what a beautiful site that is we've taken it and we've also took Transylvania now we did have this army what was left of it this is almost a full stack army they did try to push through to Moldova here and try to raid it to try and sort of you know draw our attention away from the front lines not a chance my friend so we've taken Transylvania off them as you can see here but it was a much much tougher fight than I expected it really was an absolute bitter fight as you can see it looks like they may have drained some of their other regions to reinforce this army I can't see any sort of troops around here apart from I wonder what they got here I could actually have a look in Greece let's have a look at Greece ho, 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 ho. Look at that, there it is. There they are, look at that. An absolute full stack army in Greece. Something that definitely is going to be needed to be dealt with without a shadow of a doubt. But look at all these regions here. They've got absolutely nothing here to hold these regions whatsoever. They've either got all of their forces up in the front lines here in Vienna, or they've simply used um, one particular army, then split it into different parts to try and push forward for their empire. But look at Poland. Poland is our ally. Thankfully, Poland is allied to us. And you can see they're pushing really hard. They've taken Breslau here. And they're pushing hard against the Prussians. They really are. Prussia have only got these territories left. Um, and oh, they've got the uh, Netherlands as well. So they're not to be totally outdone here. And look at France. France has just, just taken, has taken everything over here. And they've allowed... Oh, we're allied with Spain. Um, so we then they've left Spain alone here as well. But Spain now does c sort of control uh, the Mediterranean and the Atlantic routes in and out of here. They, they do control the, the Gibraltar Peninsula here. Not a lot else we can do really here. Our main focus must be holding against Sweden and pushing in hard against the Ottomans. I really want to push in as hard as I can against the Ottomans. That's why I'm also putting together quite a strong force here from Kiev. This force is going to strike straight outwards, probably looking for Sofia here in Bulgaria. We're going to start, so, you know, really pick, taking some of these territories here and bringing our, bringing our empire together, you know, sort of bringing it as a whole, a coherent whole. There's no point in pushing on these two axes here and leaving the center here completely open to counterattack. I'd rather push in an army in here, take Bulgaria and have a complete line under our control right by here. We are of course losing this trading port here because we have the army, this sort of s small strike force here of Ottomans in here, eventually pushing down and hopefully nipping this bulge here in the bag, taking out because they've got quite a lot of production facilities here which I wouldn't want really to get my hands on. Um, I really wouldn't. This Vienna, we're at peace with the Vienna. Or Venice should I say. So look at this. That's a lot of militia. That's a lot of militia. Okay, anyway, enough of my procrastinating. Oh, just one more. Oh, hang on a minute. I think I'm going to push for... Oh no, actually diamond formation would definitely come in useful for us. And socket bayonets as well. Alright, let's do this. Let's end the turn, my friend. Let's see what happens anyway. Let's just see what happens here. Great Britain. <coughs> They're still holding strong. Got oh, Austria. What are Austria going to do? Spain. I I I remember now. I got I got Spain as an ally, so that we have at least an ally down in sort of the south here of Europe. Very important. They also control the Mediterranean, uh, Atlantic sort of thoroughfare through Gibraltar. That is a vitally important link there, especially a very very important trade link very very important trade link so it's vital that we did help hold on to that incredibly vital that we held on and had an ally at least that's going to protect us from any anything coming in from that that area there that might harm our trade trade is incredibly important to us Oh, Barbary states. I wish Spain would just rid themselves, you know, just 
a heap of, sh of some ships there because it really is starting to... Whoa, 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 whoa. We've got a rebellion here. Okay. Let's bring that up to full. And we're going to bring some of these up as well. We're going to put some of these... Which is that going to be there? 918. Wow, it's almost the cost of a brand new unit. I think we shall merge these together. And that should just allow the cost to be a bit more, not so prohibitive as it were. <coughs> so look at these, that's more like it. And so we're just going to bring up the force that took Romalia. We're going to bring them up. These are going to raid and maybe even pull in quite a lot of reinforcements, but that doesn't matter. As you can see here, they are slightly miffed with us. Uh, ah, that's why. 5,400, good grief. That is absolutely staggering. So i got to pump a lot of money into that. What have we got coming in next turn? 4421. So without that being repaired, we're going to get a lot of, because we've got the repression here, the tax bonus is going to drop. That's why we've got the problems there. We should be repairing. This shear is going to be repaired. We're going to bring that to a magistrates. And some of these gentlemen should hopefully be coming back up to full strength eventually. But I do need to focus on... ridding myself of these here. <coughs> yes. And now we move up. And let's bring some of these gentlemen up to full as well, so that we at least have the correct and the appropriate forces to defend our borders. We are not going to allow anybody to take us off track here. Not at all, my friends. Now, Kiev here. Kiev is actually getting quite a nice army together here. Hand mortars almost done. So we're just going to be just making sure we've got everything right and proper here, because we're going to have to deal with these re rebels here. We cannot leave here at all. If I was to look at that, minus three. They really don't like us at all. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, where, where did you come from? We've got these moving down as well. So have a quick look at what's going on around here, shall we? Nothing at all here. So I'm guessing that the majority of their forces are going to be up here in Vienna. Otherwise, we are literally just going to walk right over them. And... Austria is holding on by the absolute fingernails here. Let's have a quick look at how... Whoa. Holy smokes. Britain have got all of this. Look how powerful Britain are. Wow, that is scary. They have got pretty much the entire of the, the North American continent tied down here. And so have Spain got most of the Caribbean and South America. That's a... That is a huge amount to have there. That's going to be quite a fight there. What about here? And they've also got this here, but the Mughals have all this. We're going to have our, we're going to have our work cut out with us here, I think. <coughs> if we're going to break any of these major powers. But let's not worry about that yet. We've got the Ottomans to deal with first. Uh, let's see if we can get any trade. Oh, indeed. Not a problem. Not a problem, good sir. Then what we can do? Nope, because all of their Come on, Prussia. Oh, some technology. What was socket being it? Yes, there it is. Just got to keep that trade coming in. Four six zero. Oh. I need to deal with this, but not until these troops here are at full capacity and also. This is going to pose a major problem. That's going to soak up a lot of money to get that repaired. A lot of money. Right, let's end the turn. Let's have a quick turn around here. Turn. Heading for the university. That would increase our research, which is absolutely vital to us. Let's 
Great Britain. Oh, they're after somebody. There we go. Oh, look at that. Right for Spain. Bam. It looks like the the war with Spain and Britain is going on at great pace. Oh, thank you very much. Spain, leave a ship there. Leave your ships there. Nope. They still haven't quite figured that out yet. Looks like Prussia's going to be hitting back against somebody. Possibly Poland. Here we go. Ah, look at that. Sending in those troops all the time. Through that top area, I'm having to get rid of these. What oh, there? Look at that sneaking past us. Looks like the Mukahala are investing quite a lot of money in, into their, into a lot of their, their facilities there. They're going to be a tough nut to crack there. Pirates, just leave us everything alone. Pirates, don't go reading any trade lines. Our rebels, of course. Cannot afford to upgrade anything at the moment. We're going to merge that together and we're going to bring that up to full spec. Who else do we need to do that to? Them, those gentlemen there. Gonna bring these fighters up to let's have a look what's going on here. There it is. There's your reason why. This is the army that's been pushing through the Ottoman the Ottomans through to everything. Look at that, all these cities are wide open. They've just got this this facility here in Ham in Hungary. That's all they've got. So they're pretty much wide open for an attack here. Before I do that, let's just move up to here and deal with what is going on here because I'm not happy with are all repairing thankfully 603 that is so expensive wow but they can loiter there if they want but that is that's can send another force up to here <coughs> Just to make sure that we're not going to be caught on the hop there. We've got building here. Military academy. Now we definitely need a military academy on one of these frontiers here. But where to, my friends? Where to indeed? I think I need the military academy. I'm not going to put it here. Oh, wait a minute. Drill school. Definitely get that. And we're going to increase the army here. And then eventually when I've got a bit of cash available, I'm going to have to get this here upgraded. But that's going to be four and a half, five and a half thousand. That is a huge amount. We can recruit here. The Butreski Regiment. I think we'll invest in the Butreski Regiment. I've got to make sure that I don't lose any of the foothold here. So if these got to deal with this gentleman here, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move these up. We're going to start pushing, we're going to block the border here with Sweden. We're going to cross into Sweden itself. Use this arm, this force here to deal with these gentlemen. And then we're going to move these up, take this out. How is recruitment doing? What? Oof. I don't think we need Candest marching just yet. I'm 
put that into that to increase our farm the amount of money we get from our farms. We've got our ally here. Looks like Prussia's going to. Whoa. That's a strong force there. That is a. Whoa, hoo, hoo, heavy cav. Wow. Look at that charge bonus. Okay. Let's end the turn here. Let's see what we're going to do. These rebels might attack us, but where are we going to be? We're going to stand firm. We're going to stand ready, my friends, for that fight. Although things are just sort of, you know, developing on the map and not many battles, it's just the, the small things you do now will just absolutely bring everything together in the bigger picture as the, as the campaign goes along. Getting armies together, especially with the sort of a not not a brilliant economy because you've got so many different things you've got to sort of work with um, but I'm trying to get my economy up as best I possibly can wow Prussia has huge whoa that is a monstrous force just saw that for yourselves then my friends that was a large army moving on Istanbul wow it would appear the Ottomans are not out of this just yet there they look at that again again hmm. I don't think so <coughs> Don't do it, Barbara States. Don't do it. Oh, once again. And reading the trade line. Why don't Spain just absolutely block those off once and for all? Wow. That's why. And pressure as well. Damn it. Okay. If we got these gentlemen moving up back up to a full spec army here. We do have a large Ottoman ar army here. Really is a vast army. I'm not gonna put any money to that yet, there's no point. But with this army here, I'm going to probably move down and push down onto some of these regions here. Take these out. Push down, take Belgrade. I do need to improve my economy, but I just cannot afford it at the moment. Let's get myself a general. And this army here is going to deal with these. <laughs> and now I finally managed to get myself up to here. And then I'm going to put myself here and I'm going to stop this these Swedish incursions into my territory once and for all right any more of these regiments that need upgrading yes you do need upgrading let's put the money into this we've got to get ourselves up and running again what about here Get them up and running. Nothing yet. Two, ooh, two, seven, six, eight. Wow. No more trade nations. Oh, I wonder if we can sell any of our technology. Let's have a look at Austria here. Technology. Then get military syllabus. And I am going to demand a thousand of them. Okay. Bumugahal, they seem pretty quiet. We've got 
socket and we shall demand a thousand of the Mughals. Yes, thank you Mughal Empire. And what was Spain? Let's look at Spain. Will they be interested in any of this here? Ah, oh. How about the payments become 2,000? <laughs> That's never going to happen. How about that? Yes. Uh, what about Poland? They're very friendly with us. Let's have a look. Military syllabus. How about this? Let's get some money off them if we can. Maybe a 1,000. <coughs> Oh, you jest, surely, sir. Let's have a look at 1,500 here for that. Seven hundred and seventy. Why not? I don't mind that at all. I need them over oh, Great Britain. We're very friendly with Great Britain. We've got military syllabus. That will probably help them with their war with France and Spain, which I don't mind them doing either. Oh, their war with Poland as well. Wow. Military syllabus. And let's have a say thousand. Look at that. Their wealth is absolutely mind boggling. Done. Consider it done. And what else have we got here? Well, France are indifferent, but maybe, maybe a little bit of a twist of the arm. Or fire by rank. Let's see if they're, let's see if they're happy with that there. And a payment would demand a thousand. Ah, excellent. Who else is there? Um, I think that is all we've got. Everyone else has been either eliminated or but that is fine with me. Now we've got now a little bit of spare cash here. We've got a bit of surplus. And now we can throw that into putting our armies right. So we're going to put these troops up to what they should be. This gentleman is going to be repaired as well. Um, too bad at all, so we're going to hold here and just try and get rid of these here, these gentlemen. Oh, they took a bit of a beating there, didn't they? We shall do that, so we're getting all of those up and running. And we're going to put the rest into... I think we'll have ourselves another grenadier in here. And I think we'll have some expatriate infantry as well. Very nice. That's actually done us quite well there to do that, thank you very much. I don't have enough money for that just yet, but still. <laughs> I think we're going to have ourselves a f quite a fierce battle soon. They're going to try and come back and try and take this back off us. That's minus one, so we're going to get this slowly under control here. The Transylvanian army is almost going to be up to spec. So we can probably start pushing in and start crushing some of these, taking some of these settlements here probably rid myself of this army here and then move down and take Serbia that should give us what we need there in terms of there I think we can probably start moving this army out eventually right there's a research coming along too for that I'm definitely going to invest some money in my in my navy I don't have anything at all to invest in the navy mind you it isn't really a priority for me at the moment only when I when only when I come to looking at the Americas will that be. At the moment I'm caught in the war in between the Middle East and Western oh, Europe. I say in the term, my friends. Oh, he's finally made it into the uh, university. Great Britain. <laughs> oh, dope. That's going to hit um, 
Spanish trade once again. Just, just leave your man in there. Leave your man in there. Right, thank you. And no, leave, leave your ships there. No, no. Oh, that's a mighty army there by Prussia. Looks like, whoa, we've got some units slipping in and out of Prussian territory here. Oh, that's a huge force. Ah, oh, the force out of Greece is coming out of hiding. have some company here. <coughs> Trying to steal our seat. Look at that. Straight passes again. I might have to split that army into two. Pirates. Ho ho ho. Very close there. Very close. I can see what they want to do there. 2765. You are joking. Oh, thank goodness for that. Just the Prussia we're missing here. Brought it under control at last. By a firm hand, my friends. A very firm hand here. By not giving any an inch. Okay, they've raided a few places here. We've taken a few hits here, but still. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where exactly are you going? Oh, they've taken Gdansk. Don't tell me that... Don't tell me that Poland's going to collapse. Because that's going to stretch our resources even further. We're going to make this a full army here. Let's have a look at the proper balance. We've got three cannon. And I think... I have some hussars. I'm going to make this quite a potent strike force here. also going to do is make sure that <laughs> nothing slips past us. Is there anything in this army that needs repairing or replenishment? I think everything else is becoming is being brought back up to full. Uh, there, three seven one. We shall do that. <coughs> I intend to push these forces out and finally rid ourselves of Swedish harassment. But if Poland collapses because of Prussia, we're gonna have to reinforce this border here quite quite strong here. But this army will be moving out in good order. Got some good... Castaway Mariner rescued. Right, let's end the turn, my friends. Let's see what happens here. Great Britain. It's a heck. 
heck of a tussle between Spain and Britain, a heck of a tussle. But what that does is it affects us indirectly because of the trade. The trade is hit that affects us quite badly there. Austria, are Austria going to strike back at all? Possibly. Spain. Ah, excellent, they're reinforcing there quite proficiently. We could see quite a fight going on there. Wow. Oh, there it is, there it is. I absolutely knew it. And before our cavalry is even ready, my friends. But we're going to take this fight. They've come... They've come to try and take this office. Where the heck they got these forces from, I don't know. But we are not going to stand by and just let them do this. So, I'm surprised the rebels didn't come in, but they're throwing quite a huge army. Actually, it's a brand new army. So, only our cavalry is sort of not up to full here, but luckily we brought everything else back at the full spec. Right, let's take this fight. Let's take this fight. What a fight this is going to be. I must hold Istanbul. I must hold it no matter what. If I can do that, then I know that I've pushed away quite a sizable force. I may even have to reinforce this area. Because what it is, we're, we've, we're a long way from our supply lines. Ukraine is probably the nearest sort of supply line or proper base of supplies that we have. And of course, we've struck right out by ourselves, taking Istanbul, a couple of hundred miles away from Ukraine. So this is the problem. See, we're quite a way from our, from our main supply lines, from our, tr um, our supply bases, as it were. And this is the problem. We're sort of here by ourselves, having to reinforce ourselves, having to keep ourselves going. A lot of the money we're making is going into keeping these armies alive. And that's why I need to get that army in Ukraine up, so that I can push in and rid myself of these sort of armies that are loitering about. I need to start taking some of the Ottoman Empire's regions so that they don't have so much income and so much um, facilities, production facilities in these different towns. Because I think they've sent that force from one of their Middle Eastern, probably from Syria. Um, so that's where they've brought that force. Whoa, oh, look at these forts. I love these forts. They are just absolutely phenomenal looking. Look at that. What a magnificent looking site that is. I wish all the forts that we fought in were like this. I just absolutely love these. Look at the architecture. It's phenomenal. I love all these sort of towers here. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Sorry, my friends, I'm getting a little bit carried away with the architecture. Um, okay, we're going to hold here quite firmly. We do have a full complement of troops. So we're going to just make sure we've got ourselves... <clears throat> so we've got quite a big deployment area here for the Ottomans. And they will be coming in from all directions, believe me. This town here could be quite a focal point for that attack. Um, I'm going to assume this is going to be their main focal point here of the attack, but don't be surprised if them come this way as well. So, what we're going to do is pull our troops down from the lines from here, and we're going to start putting together a coherent defence. You know, garrison militia are going to actually be held in reserve. Um, Ah, ha, ha. The seventh grenadiers, my friends. Seventh regiment of grenadiers. Beautiful. They're going to be the absolute, the pivot here, the cornerstone of this defence. As you can see, they can stretch out quite well here. What a beautiful looking regiment that is. And as you can see, they take, they actually cover quite a lot of the f this fort here. Then we're going to put the sixth grenadier regiment. And they're actually going to stretch around this way, so we've got quite a potent force here. Actually, I'll just stretch these gentlemen. That's probably a little bit too... I'll do that there. And we Actually, I'll do that even better. Perfect. Excuse any lag, my friends, because this is a fort battle. And Fraps is probably just, you know, just kicking a little bit. I'm hoping there's not going to be too much lag in this battle. If there is, um, then I will probably have to maybe take a close defeat and um, uh, lose a simple. Because sometimes these four battles can be an absolute nightmare to fight in terms of the numbers that are being thrown into the fight. 
and it does slow down the game horrendously as you can see here we're already starting to get a bit of lag here that's more like it got a 44th grenadier here um, this side I think we have something on this side but I think we have the sort of grenadiers on this side here I think yeah so we've got the 11th grenadiers on this side um, we're going to have the Novogrodsky running along here. Uh, oh, we've got, oh, we've got the town militia here, but we've got the Narsky regiment along here. Thus, now we shall have some militia. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. 12 grenadiers? Absolutely good, sir. Now, they will probably try to attack along this flank here. So now we've got the 10th Grenadiers on this flank. Um, Novogrodsky. Oh, wait a minute. That's a little bit too far out there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Militia will just cover the rear here. We have actually managed to keep one regiment here in reserve, which will be used should it be needed. We're also going to pull these gentlemen back as far as we can so they can fire over. Now where's my general? My general's going to be brought back into the... But he's going to be put here, hidden behind the building for a bit of extra cover. We're actually not going to use our cavalry until we absolutely need to. So again, they're going to be brought into here. And they're out there. They're not really going to do a lot. Um, if we need to draw in some of the other cav uh, some of the other enemies, we will use them as that. I think we've got everything we can possibly do now. It, whoa, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Why have we got these regiments in here? 112, hundred of course, they were re replenishing, weren't they? Actually, we're better off, actually, than I thought. In terms of troop numbers, I'm actually going to pull these back into reserve. And these can actually be used to plug probably any gaps that might appear in the line. We've got every gap pretty much. I'll just put them up here, but only because you know we've, we've got this sort of slight gap here. But we've actually got two regiments in reserve, which is quite nice. Right, let's begin this fight. I'm hoping the lag is not going to be too bad here. Oh, damn, that's a lot of troops. That is a heck of a lot of troops. <laughs> oh, there they are. There's those cannons. Can I flank around and take those cannons out? Yes, I can. Right, that's what I'm going to do. Move it, gentlemen. Move it. Blimey, Charlie. We took a heck of a hit there. Let's get out of those gates. Get out of those gates. Come here, they come. Hold, lads, hold. Gonna take out those artillery ones before they can do any much damage to us. Prepare yourselves, gentlemen, prepare yourselves. 
<clears throat> oh, they're broken. Already they're breaking. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. We could stay here till Christmas, my friends. And I'll be worried about this lot. This is taking some damage here, this wall. It has to hold this wall. They're going to try and intercept us here. Oh, they come back. Sports taking a heck of a beating. Here they come. Nope, nothing has come on this side here. We've managed to hold this side here. Oh, look, they're shifting their entire flank here over to this side. Probably because we've brought out cavalry over here to take care of these. So it looks like they're shifting their entire focus of their attack to this flank here, but we're prepared. We are fully prepared. Oh, they try to get up. They try to get up there. Come on, lads. Get stuck in it. This wall has got to hold here. <laughs> now let's get out of here. What a fight. Look at this. The stoic defenders. We've lost a few men here. Few grenadiers here, but look at this, they fought the hell. I think that this architecture is so perfect for a fight, it really is perfect. They've come back, they've come back for some more. Get that fight going, gentlemen, keep firing. not doing anything at all here. Let's bring the fight to them. Broken. Steady, lads. Steady. I knew they tried to flank us. I absolutely knew it. Come on, gunners. String shot there. No, oh, these men have done us proud here. Proud, my friends. Look at this. There's still a lot of forces all coming in. It's starting to wheel round now. Here they come. Ah, ooh, ooh, hello. Hello. Where exactly did you come from? Ah, oh, that's more like it. Eventually these <coughs> camel nomads will be hit, but this is probably the general unit, I believe. Oh, fantastic shots there. Oh, there, look at that in the distance. Whoa. There is Istanbul in the distance. Look at that. That's a huge city. We keep these gentlemen right here. We're not going to risk our cavalry at all. We're not even going to chase anybody down.
Kurdish hillmen. These are quite tough, these Kurds. These Kurds are really tough. <coughs> Flank has now collapsed. <laughs> Bring up the guns. They're taking a fierce pounding here. Oh, these gentlemen, look at them. Remember them, my friends. Remember them. But they fought with valor and the digger. Ah, oh, they're readjusting their lines here. Wait, yeah. Steady, lads. Steady now. Steady. Don't lose your nerve. This is our city. This is our fort. So now they're still coming, these Israelis. Yourselves, ever friends. What a shot! Istanbul is ours. It's going nowhere. This is now Russian soil. those up there then. Don't let them up there gentlemen, don't let them up there. Time to bring some of these to us.
hold them, lads. Hold them. They've been pushed back. We've got a lot of trouble coming out with Cheapest Creepers. We've got more coming in. This is going to get rough. This is going to get really rough. They're broken. Keep going. Keep going, lads. They're gone. <laughs> Come to the fight, another hand to hand fight. These Janissaries either, they're not going to be turning around too quickly. Just get out of here. Disintegrated. Wow, did I just do that myself? That's one pushed away. One force being pushed away here. Bring these gentlemen into the fight if we can. Yeah, they're starting to wave at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why, gentlemen, why did that happen? Was it me? Did I just did I fire that on myself? Where did that come from? 50% damage straight away like that without any warning. How is that even possible? I have no idea. If you can explain that to me, my friends, I'd be eternally grateful. I have no idea why this suddenly exploded this corner part here. That is a complete mystery to me. Oh, 
just hit him. Ah, the smoking ruin. Get out of there, gentlemen. Get out of there. Holding on pretty strong here. Holy <sighs> smokes. Look how many are dead here. 80 men, 100 men killed here. Well over 200 killed here. Not to me, there's just 40 odd so there, but look at that. What a. This 44th Regiment's taken a real battle. Is they? They've taken quite a hit there. But they've remained stoic. If you would please, gentlemen, if you would please, instead of messing about here, begin firing upon our enemy, if you would please. Thank you very much. Such sloppy behaviour in all my life. Well, consider the force we just had against us, that we didn't do too badly there. Too dramatic, please. If you would, please withdraw. And I believe we just got these here to deal with. shall deal with these camel nomads. Just so these don't come back. Shaken, but not dead just yet. Ooh, my camel doesn't sound too happy. Whoa. All full silent. Apart from one corner. is dead. Tunazid ferried. Broken. Yes, we did it, my friends. We did it. We held Istanbul against quite a ferocious assault there. We threw them back. Wow, what a fight that was. That was a beautiful fight. How many did we do? We lost 450. Look how many men they lost. Nearly 3,000 men they lost here. 456. 
left and some remaining. So we didn't do too bad there at all. Oh, look at the line. Look at the look at the stats here for these two. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. We did lose 105 men there, but that was a valiant defence. Look at these echelons here. Beautiful. Wow, what a fight. Now I can reinforce that garrison there. Ah, pushing with Transylvania, I see. <gasps> That's a huge force. Still keeping their blockade in force. No, don't do it, damn you. <sighs> Marvellous. When I need the money, the most Barbary states once again come out. Spain could vanquish these in one fell swoop. <gasps> but that, my friend, this, my friends, is going to be a fight for next episode. I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you've enjoyed it, my friends. We have had quite, you know, we sort of started off very quiet. We're sort of bringing ourselves back up, you know, getting everything, maneuvering sort of the pieces on the board, as it were, getting ourselves ready for anything coming our way. And suddenly we have a huge attack. And it looks like everything, they're throwing everything they can at us, the Ottomans, to try and take Istanbul back from us. They really are. We've got rebels. We've had a full um, full force against us as well. And now we've got another force behind these rebels wanting it as well. So we're in for quite a fight here for this. Absolutely. We've got to dig in. Because as you can see, we're a long way away from our any supply lines. I might have to even send a, uh, uh, an army from Kiev to Istanbul to reinforce this area to make sure we're not, we're not, we don't actually lose this army. Because look at it. This army has still in good shape. Hasn't come off too bad. But Eventually, it could be worn down by just continual attacks. Remember, the, Istan the the Ottomans can throw a lot of men in, a lot of men in, and that eventually will wear down. Even the best armies will get worn down by that amount. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, my friends. Um, as I've as I've said at the beginning of this, I won't be able to upload any more of my sort of larger campaigns until next weekend, because I'll be away for a week. I will be trying to depending on the broadband situation, if the broadband is okay up there where I'm going, then it, I will hopefully still be able to upload some um, nation guides and maybe some historical battles if I can. If I, can. I will be recording um, the, la the sort of my main let's plays and I'll be saving them and then I will upload them when I come back when I'm on my more uh, stable broadband at home. But anyway friends, I hope you've had enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. I hope you have a good week next week. I will try and stay in touch with you all. Please just, you know, if you want to just message me or leave a comment on one of my videos or anything, just put it up there. I will reply to every single one of them, my friends. I promise you. I may not, you know, may not reply straight away, but even if it takes me a few days, I will reply to every single one of your comments. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, as I said, my friends, please comment, like, subscribe. Keep your comments down, coming down below. If you want any renaming units done, please let me know. Any armies renamed? please let me know um, and hopefully you all have a good week and until next Friday my friends when I can upload some more let's plays until then bye for now <laughs>